In 2011.2, we've expanded the sorting modes in the Event and Shots view to allow sorting by original source type and timecode values. In these modes, it's only the view in the Events and the Shots view that are sorted. The timeline remains in its original order. On the timeline, I have a single clip imported from tape. I also have the original EDL that I used to do the conform in record mode. Even though we only have a single source and record time code for this clip, because we have the original EDL, we can track the original source and source time codes. You will notice that there is a new button in the events view as well as the shots view. This will allow you to sort the clips in the order that you would like. The way it is sorted in the events view will automatically be the way that it is sorted in the shot view and vice versa. Once I've sorted my shots in the way that I would like, I have to go to the shot view and from there on I can use previous or next on my keyboard or on my panels to move from shot to shot. There is also a new button that will allow me to lock to a selected shot. This allows me to choose one shot that has a grade that I want to use and to easily recall those grades to multiple shots as I move through the timeline. I can also use the shots view to easily create groups for grading at a later stage.